Hold on, I can't believe the email I'm reading. It says, I don't know why you promote work from home opportunities. They are a waste of time. My $15 an hour job has more value and more security. <sighs> oh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. He got the right one. He is talking to Dr. Money. He just don't know. Do y'all want me to get him? Do y'all want me to get him? Woo! I'm going to have to break him on down. I need to get my powers first. Let me get my entrepreneurial powers. Get my entrepreneurial powers. Power up. Woo! Got my entrepreneurial powers. It's time to break it on down. One week at your $15 an hour job versus one week at my one entrepreneur venture. Let's go. Okay, welcome back. Now, before I do this comparison, let me just say this. If you have a job, I am not knocking you. I used to have one myself, but the purpose of this video is for educational purpose only, and that is to show in an objective manner whether or not a home-based business is a waste of time and whether or not the job has more value and more security. Now, if you are a person that is an entrepreneur and someone is telling you that home-based business is a waste of time, this is a video that you want to show. Now, before I get real deal holy feel and all up in this, let me change hats. Yeah, I got to get serious up in here. Don't send me that email. So, I am not in the business of convincing anyone to do anything. All right, I think you should join an opportunity that you're excited about. I only want people that are excited. If you ain't excited, hey, don't join. Before I left my job, I didn't leave for something I just thought I liked, I left for something that I was excited about. And that's what you got to do. So let's get all up in this. We're going to compare one week at the job of a person that makes $15 an hour to one week of myself, an entrepreneur. Now, let's get all the things out the way. We know that every entrepreneur is different. Every opportunity is different. Just like every job is different and every employee is different. And I'm going to base this off of my experiences with a job and with, an entrep and with entrepreneurship because I have been in both worlds. So let's go and let's begin. <clears throat> so we're going to break it on down. We're going to have a job over here, J-O-B. And we're going to have my opportunity that I'm currently, currently comparing called TCP which is called the conversion pro since this was the opportunity that was in question because I'm going to be showing my income within this opportunity for an entire week. So here and here and let's split them down the middle. Yes sir. Now, don't try to play me up in here. We all know that there's a variable at your job that you have to account for and this variable is at your job looking over your shoulder and it's called a boss and some of you are scared to death of that boss because with two words he can end your career and mess your checkup and those words are you're fired some of you have heard those before and it ain't pretty you get all on this employment report you can't go back to that company again because you've been fired so it's a mess now you might have a boss that is a complete butthole and they don't treat you fair. They make you do your work and everybody else's work and their work too. But then some of you are fortunate enough to have a person who is a supervisor that is considered a leader. They inspire you. They encourage you. And if you have a leader at your job, then kudos to you. But some of you got that boss. And I'm just telling you, that boss don't want to do nothing 
but make you do everything while they do nothing. And we all know boss is spelled B O S S. And if you have a boss that ain't doing right, then his boss spelled backwards. You know what boss spelled backwards is? Is S S O B. What does that stand for? Sorry, son of a. Ooh, almost cuss, almost cuss. Ooh, I'm saved. I can't cuss. I can't cuss now. So, you got to deal with that variable at your job. Let's get this out of the way. Now, at the job, let's say you make $15. Per hour and you work 40 hours a week now don't try to play me like you're gonna go to work on Monday and get your check on Friday we all know that ain't happening I used, I used to be I used to have that job we know that most jobs put you one to two weeks in the hole that means you got to go one to two weeks without no check because they got to go through payroll, everything has to be approved and all that kind of stuff. They got to complete last minute background information. So they got to make sure all that stuff is straight before you get your check. So we all know that you're going to be a week in the hole, homeboy. So, but you still got to invest in that job, don't you? You got to invest in that job. Now, let's say you're making $15 an hour and you're working at a bank. And you're going to need some clothes, homeboy. You're going to need some clothes for that job. And you got to go five days a week for 40 hours a week, eight hours a day. Good Lord, somebody help me. Now, you're going to need a nice dress shirt. You're going to need some slacks. You're going to need a tie. And you might need about two pair of dress shoes because if you're coming up in a bank, don't think a bank is going to have you coming up there with some tight shirt that look like it's just fighting you, look like it's just pulling in all directions and sloppy slacks because your boss it's going to send you up out of there and make sure you're right. So you're going to have to buy some good quality clothes that can stay on your body for eight hours while you're twiddling and, fit and, and, uh, and being fidgety at your desk. So that's an expense. So what we got to do is we got to create an expense. Because again, income is, at, is a profit minus expense. And what's left over is what you make. We're doing this objectively. We're doing this very objectively. So let's, let, let's stay objective. So expenses for a job on your first week. Now you got to buy clothes. So let, let, me, let, me, let me bring this in closer because y'all got to hear this. Y'all got to see this. Get you in closer. Come on in. Come on in a little bit. Come on. Come on. There you go. Hey, there you go. Yeah, you can see now. So you got your expenses here. Now, you got to get clothes that's going to last you five days a week. So, two good shirts that you probably going to need. I'm just, no, I'm going to say more than two good shirts. You're going to need about four good shirts, four good slacks, and about two good shoes. So, that's going to maybe run you about hmm, $300. Yep, about $300. And that's about a fair amount. And you'll be spending that in clothes for your job. And, and don't front. You, you know you be moonlighting on your clothes. You know you wear them same clothes to your job that you wear to church on Sunday morning. So, yeah, you can get a little more use out of them, but you're buying them for that job, not for church. <laughs> don't, don't, don't play yourself. Now, the second thing you got to do is you got to get to the job, don't you? You just can't pour water in your gas tank, can you? No, you got to buy gas. And let's say your job is about 20 miles away from your home. That's 20 miles to the job. That's 20 miles back from the job. That's about 40 miles a day fighting traffic. So I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna be fair, I'm gonna give you about $45 a week in gas. So it's your first week, $45 in gas. Now, don't be trying to play me and tell me that you're gonna make lunch every single day 
at your job. Let me grab this phone, make sure it's off, because I'm gonna get all up in this. Don't don't tell me that you're gonna be grabbing lunch. Make sure this thing don't be going off while we while we in this thing. Sorry about that. Now, don't be telling me that you're gonna make your lunch every day. Because you just got this job and you on Saturday you're chilling. On Sunday you're chilling. And you all know and we know that you're gonna be getting your butt up at about 6:30 and you got to press your clothes. You got to get the kids ready, you got to get breakfast ready and make sure they're straight. So you ain't gonna have time to make lunch. And if you do make lunch, we all know how it is at the job. You take your lunch, you got to make sure they got a refrigerator. And if they got a refrigerator, then you got to worry about somebody accidentally taking your lunch and eating it. You got to worry about somebody throwing your lunch in the trash. So your lunch has a chance to be compromised. Ain't nobody trying to deal with all that. Ain't nobody trying to eat no, no soggy mayonnaise sandwiches that you done made at 8 o'clock in the morning. Can't even eat them till 12 noon. Ugh. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go out and you're going to buy you some lunch. So, let's see. A convo at Wendy's, about $7. Okay, I'm going to give you about $7. $7 a day times 5. That's your lunch because you got to eat now. That's 30 five dollars a week for lunch you, you know you're going downstairs in the cafeteria you can't see your co-workers eating like come on man let's get lunch I'll bring it back I'll bring it back you know you get lunch so now <laughs> keep in mind you ain't got no check because you ain't probably gonna have one from, from one to two weeks and you're already in the negative and expenses for about three hundred and eighty dollars at your job. So you are <laughs> negative homeboy. Three hundred and eighty dollars out your pocket that you have invested to get to the job and you ain't getting paid this Friday. You gotta wait either one more Friday or two more Fridays. Now let's say once you do get paid for that week you're making fifteen dollars an hour and you're working 40 hours. So, you get your check and you make about $600. Now, <clears throat> you must think I'm slipping, don't you? Yeah, I, know, I know you think I'm slipping, but I ain't slipping, I'm shocked because there's a bad boy that you got to get out the way of and you can't get out his way because this boy is a pimp he is the baddest pimp in the business and he is the baddest uncle you ever see his name is uncle sam and uncle sam is here to rape your check y'all you know you ain't getting that, that all that six hundred dollars you know uncle sam will have his pimp hand out like this because you know uncle sam is a pimp why i call him a pimp because he gonna get here before you get yours <laughs> yeah he gonna get here before you get yours you know that right yeah you, i ain't tripping you know, so you get that check, Uncle Sam will take the hand and he will say, give me that state tax. <laughs> give me that federal tax. Give me that social security. Give me that FICO. Give me that Medicaid. And he's going to just rip your check up and take his share. Now, after all of that, that's about, what, maybe 35% of your check. And we're talking about social security that you might not even have by the time you retire. So we're gonna do 600 times 35%. That's gonna be $210 out your check. Man, he taking his, he taking his money. See, there's two tax systems in the USA. There's one to make you broke, and there's one to make you rich. And there's one for employees, which is the one that makes you broke, and there's one for entrepreneurs, which is the one that most, that's supposed to make you rich. And you didn't know that Uncle Sam is taken out to give deductions to entrepreneurs like us. We're going to get into that later, though. Don't worry about that. So anyway, as Uncle Sam finished doing what he got to do to you, you got $600 minus $210. And so you left with $390 on your first check. $390 
on your first check. You thought you caught me slipping there, didn't you? You thought you caught me slipping, but no, I'm, I'm all on it. I'm all on it. See, remember, expenses minus income, and that's what you make. So, what about the $380 right there? Oh, we ain't forgot about it. You had to pay that before you got your check. So we're gonna do 380 minus 390, and you know what they leave you with? They leave you with ten dollars. You done made the whole week. You spent forty hours a week, and you made ten dollars. And you want to tell me that there's more value in your job and that there's more security in your job? First of all, you don't own your job. You don't own your time. You take a lunch when they say you take a lunch. You take a vacation when they say you take a vacation. You got that boss. So you ain't owning nothing up in here. You can't even give it to your kids. Now, $10 and 40 hours, how much did you make per hour? Because I said we're going on an hour by hour basis and we're doing this by the numbers. So hour by hour, what did you make that week? Oh man, let's get to that. You made 25 cents an hour. 25 cents an hour, for real? You ain't even on the left side of the decimal yet. What you talking about some more value and home-based business is a waste of time. No, working 40 hours a week for 25 cents an hour is a waste of time, player. That's a waste of time. Now, let's go on over to the entrepreneur side because I used to be over there. It ain't pretty over there. I'm over here now, and a lot of people are over here now. So, for all you home-based business, hey, this is this, this our time to shine. We, we about to, <laughs> I'm telling you, we, we about to break it down on them. So, we're going to use my check and my experience because, again, just like you might have had some level of experience when you got your job, I got some level of experience being an entrepreneur. So, in my job, the conversion pros, or not my job, I'm sorry, oh man, <laughs> bad word, let me wash my mouth. In my home-based business opportunity, the conversion pros, what was my cost to get in? Well, it was $50. That was my cost. It was $50 to join. Now, I also had to advertise. Now, I use, they have some advertising in the back of Conversion Pros where you can actually get some leads and stuff. So, how much was my advertising budget? Well, I paid about $30 for advertisement. And I paid, uh, I think it was another 40 for some leads. Because, you know, I got an autopilot system, so all we do is just slam it with traffic. The system does all the selling, it does the telling. All I got to do is get eyeballs on it, that's it. Put eyeballs on it, that's it. So, <clears throat> you add all this up, and my total cost was 100 and $12. So that was my cost. Now, how many hours did I work that week? Well, I only worked two hours. That was all I worked. Now, you worked 40 over here. I worked two over here. You spent 380, I spent 112. Now let's talk about Uncle Sam, how he was this pimp on your side, how he was just pimping you, how he was just sticking it to you with no lubrication, wearing a sandpaper condom. Oh yes, he was giving it to you over here. But you know what, over here, hey, we dapping it up, me and, me and Uncle Sam homeboys. You know why? Because I'm a business, all right? I'm an entrepreneur. I qualify for over 450 tax deductions. As an entrepreneur, we get deductions. We get to deduct expenses. As long as we are in a business with the intent to make money, 
we get to take out deductions. We get to write off the house, the spouse, phone bills, internet bills, light bills, cars, vacation, 450 things I can't name. I can even pay my son some money to do this business for me and write off his salary that I pay him as an expense. You know, go on fact check me. Go to irs.gov, fact check your boy, and you'll see what I'm saying. So really, my expense is something I'm going to get back at the end of the year because that's a deduction. So uh, we might as well take this off the board. All right, I get this $50 back. I get this $30 back, so I get this whole 112 back. So uh, I'm plus the 112. So my expense is literally zero. Now, you on this side, you, you use a use a W-2. <laughs> uh, on a W-2, you don't get no deductions, homeboy. Your deductions is charitable contributions and mortgage. That's it. But you don't deduct none of this. No, 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 no. That, that's not your pocket. So now, let me show you my salary working two hours. Or not my salary. I, um, you got me in this job talk. You're messing my head up. Let me show you my commissions when working two hours from home. And all I did for two hours is make videos. I talked to people about abundance and how to gain abundance and helping people to be able to accomplish their dreams by working from home. And we talking about the type of cars they want to buy, the type of vacations we're going to take, while our autopilot system is steadily accumulating money for us. We talking about all that stuff. So it's fun for two hours. I'm having two hours of fun. Don't feel like work. So here's what I made on this opportunity. Show it right here. I made over $4,000 in a week. That's right, $4,000. And uh, let, let, let's show that again. Let's show it in my PayPal account. I transferred to my PayPal account. And let me ask you a question. Do you see any FICA, Medicaid, uh, 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 state? No, you don't see none of that coming out. Because, see, I get my money first. That's right. I get my money first. I get paid first. As entrepreneurs, we get paid first. And at the end of the year, we get to deduct our expenses. So it, it, it's like reverse. Uncle Sam, take his and give you what's left. We take ours, and after all our deductions, hey, we might not have to pay no taxes. Because again, the things that we do in everyday life, as long as it is towards business, are tax deductible. So, made over $2,000, I'm sorry, over $4,000, made over $4,000 in the first week, as you saw. And I work two hours a week. So. 4,000 divided into 2 is $2,000 per hour. So, <laughs> these are numbers. And you know what? They ain't lying. Fact check me. So when it comes down to more value and waste of time, you working 40 hours at 25 cents an hour and you got to spend eight hours at your job. You got to ask another grown adult, can you take a lunch break? You got to ask another grown adult, can you, can you take a vacation? You got to ask another grown adult, can you go home if you're sick? You just can't leave. Man, here I work two hours. My boss is a person I look at in the mirror every day. And so when I'm looking in the mirror, or you're looking in the mirror, I'm asking my boss right now, hey, can I take the rest of the year off? You sure can. Okay, cool, thank you, I appreciate that. And I still get paid. Ask, can you take the rest of the year off and see what your job say? They're gonna say, yeah, you can take the rest of the year off and the rest of your life off, but you fired. And you can hit them two words that's gonna end your career. So let me ask you a question. Do you wanna work 40 hours? and make 25 cents an hour? Or do you want to work two hours and make $2,000 an hour? I ain't got no mic, so I'm gonna do highlight a drop on this one. Can't believe you're gonna come at me talking about some home-based opportunity is a waste of time. Now what's a waste of time is going to that job for 25 cents an hour, going to a job where they're undermining you, going to a job where you could get laid off, going to a job for eight, hours a day 
40 hours a week, getting up early in the morning, fighting through traffic, all that crazy stuff. Come on now. Don't come to me with that mess. You see the numbers right here.